One Haircut Five Ways is really uh, a great story because it's about how you don't have to be bored with your hair and so you're not rushing off to the salon every five minutes to keep it in shape. I'm Ning Chow, I'm the senior beauty editor at Marie Claire Magazine, and today we're at Pier 59 Studios in New York City. Today we are photographing our November hair story, one haircut, five ways. The story today that we're doing is really about the cut of the season, so it's really this one haircut, which is a long bob, so it's about here, and it has a little bit of a long bang. It's a very versatile haircut, so if you want to go from day to night in the office, you can wear it down during the day or quite straight and quite conservative, but you can put it up at night, you can slick it back. The bang ends at your cheekbone, so it ends up being very versatile how you can style it into five different looks that we're showing today. It's just long enough where you can actually put it back so it's a little bit more versatile than a regular bob which you can sort of only like style down in different textures. I think this is a perfect um, haircut for medium and fine hair. Still long enough to have the feeling of long hair but not too heavy to, to have it too flat. Our hairstylist Felix, he's really the genius behind the whole shoot, so it's really his vision. You know, he's the one who came and cut the model's hair. She came in with hair that was down halfway down her back, and he's helping to collaborate and really create the five unique styles. You can transform it, you still can put it back, you have a long bang, you can put it out of your face, you can wave it, you can curl it. So there's a lot of things you still can do. When we're coming up with the different hairstyles, you really consider the way that the, the clothing's gonna look, the attitude of the picture. Is it more glamorous? Is it more fun? Is it more sexy? Those are all things you have to keep in mind. We're giving our reader a lot of different options in terms of how she's wearing it. I think women should work a little bit more with their hair. It doesn't have to be crazy, but just do little things. Curl it a bit or wave it a bit or just put pins in or just put it up. Just do something to look a little different. I think a lot of women are very scared to cut their hair because hair for women is almost like a security blanket. A lot of your femininity is tied up in your hair. There are a lot of emotional connections that you feel with your hair. It's really about how you can change your hair up so you don't get bored with it. And so you're not rushing off to the salon every five minutes to keep it in shape. Right now I think people are a little bit more apprehensive in terms of experimenting with their with their looks because they don't want to necessarily make a big investment in maintaining. With the hairstyles, you really wanted to make them distinct and different to just show that you can really get a lot of versatility out of this one haircut. It's a very, very versatile cut for almost any shape, face, and any style hair. And I'm planning to grow my own into it as soon as I can. The concept behind the evening wear trend was really that we're a little tired of the little black dress, we want to wear something else, and there are a lot of trends out there that both go from day to night in a fairly straightforward way, or a completely new trends for evening which look fantastic. We're here for a photo shoot with Marcus Mom and Elizabeth Stewart, who's styling it. And today we're doing a fashion shoot, which is basically the opposite of the little black dress. Our model today is Martha Streck, and she just came in and she had remarkable life, and she can give us so many different looks. A lot of sparkle, a lot of shine, just chic like really chic clothing. Evening is no longer just about wearing a black dress or cocktail dress and going. It's about being a little bit more creative, wearing separates, a lot of sequins and sparkles. There's a bunch of new classics. It basically takes the same elements that you see in a little black dress, sparkle, lace, shine, and they're popping up everywhere in leggings, shorts, jackets. It's a great new trend, it's sort of a balance between day and night. We have 12 looks. Completely new trends for evening, which look fantastic. So we're talking sequined harem pants, who knew? Maybe black pants that you would wear in the office and then a different top to kind of jazz it up for the evening. It's about separates this time around. Um, even a cool pair of pants when paired with the right top and accessories is totally adequate. Taking things you might already have in your closet and presenting them in an evening way. So we have a pair of lacy leggings, which you might wear during the day with a skirt over them. Take off the skirt and let the leggings do the walking. It's about layering and really putting in your personal style. The idea behind it is anything goes. 
it's about wearing pants, it's about different pant profile, it might be about wearing shorts in the evening, we've got a shorts look in there. Something that really speaks to evening with something a little more casual and pulling it all together. We have little rara skirts which suddenly can look more evening if you pair them with a different top. What our readers can get from this is open up their options for evening. They have many, many more options probably already in their closet than they realize. It doesn't just have to be about the little black dress anymore. I just picked random pieces and then just put them together. Like this is actually like just the oversized shirt. So I just belted it and made it into a little dress. For me, it's my hair and makeup is okay. I can pull off anything. Like you just gotta have confidence with fashion. That's that's my main tip. Just have confidence. You can pull off anything. You'd be surprised. Stay away from everything while you're walking around the house once you have on your outfit. I've already had some mishaps. I'm covering them up well, but white and me, I don't know.